What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. As you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail for this video, we have a Venus Sword team in our hands. This is hype. I cannot wait to show it off. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. This team was actually sent in by Keith Munslow. Keith, thank you so much for dropping your team. If you guys want me to play your rental teams, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of the Pokemon. Tell me whether it's a doubles or singles team and if you have the ev spread send that in as well just to let you guys know there will be a higher chance of me playing your team if you send in a team with the starters i haven't played played with yet so like three alolan starters and blastoids i'm really looking forward to those teams so if you guys do have a team or have those pokemon try to make a team around it and i would definitely love to get my hands on rocking out on this team we have the nine tails to set the drought we have the gastrodon over here to storm drain if they want to throw in water pokemon this save by the quash sunny dice ally switch all that just kind of pester you some status moves helio wisp for speed and some nice damage here we got thunderbolt for stab weather ball and solar beam that will work out in the drought we have this normal charizard set who we could just roll in and just dynamax right off the bat you guys seen plenty of charizard but the main pokemon on this team is this venusaur down in the bottom right corner i am hyped to use it his ability boosts its speed well doubles its speed in the drought he has the extra belt boosts his super effective damage the solar beam the earth power the weather ball and the sludge bomb for stab let's go hype venusaur right now i'm hyped for him if you guys want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen if you do use it let me know how you do with it me and keith actually let us know how you do with it and let me know for question of the day what pokemon are you hyped for that is going to make a return um i'm probably more hyped for the the Kanto stars, the Venusaur, and the Blastoise. Same thing with the Lone stars. Probably my top Pokemon is just the stars because I've always been a big fan of the stars. But guys, let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. We cannot use them on the rank battle till March 1st. I think I might have already said that. But still, we're going to show them off in casual battle right now. If you try to hop onto the rank ladder, there will just be like an X next to the Pokemon. But that's pretty. That's okay. At least we can use them. At least we can use them. And, and we have a date that we know when we'll be able to use them on the rank ladder but let's go venusaur up in here i'm planning on potentially just leading venusaur just to show him off in a drought and we can dynamax right away and get rolling from there that is hype that is seriously hype guys i cannot wait to show this off like i saw them come out because pokemon home was kind of just like a random release like we knew it was coming sometime in february but they just dropped it they just dropped it so all these pokemon came and we're like can you use them on the ladder can you do this can you do that but now we kind of have like definitive answers right here but here we go. Oh, this guy's got Incineroar and a Lola Ninetales. Oh, casual battles are crazy. <laughs> casual battles are nuts. This is actually hilarious. <laughs> Look at this, a Lola Ninetales with the Incineroar. Ooh, do I see him leading the Incineroar? I could potentially see him leading the Incineroar. I'm going to go Ninetales into Venusaur, Gastrodon, and then who's my final Pokemon here? We're gonna need one more. I don't even know if I want the Charizard, to be honest with you. Do I even want the Charizard? I mean, I could go Sableye instead of uh, Ninetales. But I kind of like Ninetales in here, because I can see him leading the Whimsicott. Yeah, so we're gonna go Venusaur in the front spot. We might Dynamax him right off the Rippo. Right off the Rippo, we're gonna be bringing Gastron in the back. And then, and then in the final spot, do we go Sableye or Helios? I don't really want the Charizard. We showed off Charizard a lot. I mean, Helios could be good. I just gotta watch out for the right here. We're gonna bring the Helios. We're gonna say save like drop out in the back here. But come on. An Incineroar and an Alolan Nidels. I think you can use anything on the casual ladder. But the only Pokemon that you will be able to use in the rank ladder come March 1st will be the, the new starters. And then only the Pokemon that are in the Pokedex or like in the game's code, you can use in rank battle later. So like Alolan Ninetales, I think if you send them over, you cannot use them. But who's he gonna go into? Little bit of Togekiss Wimsky is gonna try to set up. The Tailwind. Maybe go for a follow me. I might Dynamax just go for a Max Ooze. That might be the play. That might be the play. Super effective stab over on the Togekiss. Get our special attack boost and get rolling from there. But look at our thick boy Venusaur. Look at our thick boy Venusaur here. That is hilarious. Oh, we're Dynamaxing. Weather Ball can do some work. Let's go for a Max Ooze. Let's Dynamax and see Big Thickums Venusaur in battle. This is going to be hilarious. His speed's actually, he's actually really fast in the sun. Double speed. His EV spread is into his speed. He's, he might be the fastest on the field. He might be the fastest on the field. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. But still, this team is awesome. I cannot wait for the G-Max forms to come out as well. And the whole DLC. Like, everything just looks so cool. This game is going to get a huge boost from its DLC. And the new Pokemon coming in. Let's go. Venusaur, baby. 310 HP. He's huge. Is he going to go first? Who's going to go first? Uh, Prankster Tailwind. Okay, that's fine. And what is this Togekiss rolling into if it's not a follow me? Maybe a yawn? 
Let's see. Max ooze, baby. No berry. This could potentially kill. Let's see it. Venusaur with some damage. Heat wave's gonna fly through. Hopefully we go before the Tokus and we can take him out. Because we have our special attack boost now. Let's go. Venusaur coming up big. No, the heat wave does roll through. Venusaur eats up though. Tanky boy. Tanky boy. And we could potentially get a double kill here. Oh, what you mean? What you mean we get burned? Luckily we're not a physical attacker. My Venusaur gets burned right off the rip. And look at that damage. Brings that thing down to a sash. That thing is sashing. Oh my lord. Venusaur, my dude. Venusaur, my dude. Coming up big. We are plus one on the special attack board. So we're going to be able to do some big damage here. The burn doesn't really affect us only health-wise because it halves physical damage. Well, physical attackers. But we're special attacking. Venusaur, big boy, physical attacker. Casual battles are always fun, though. I really do enjoy casual battles because you don't really have to worry about rank and you don't have to think as much. You kind of just mess around, have some fun. And it's kind of cool to see, like, different Pokemon. So if you get tired of the meta, just hop over into some casual battles. It's a lot of fun. I can see him rolling out with the Incineroar, but I feel like my boy outspeeds him. My Venusaur outspeeds him. Let's see. There's Incineroar. Oh my lord, he's intimidating us. Leave us alone. Uh, how do I how do I go from here? <laughs> how do I go from here? Do I go for another max ooze? I mean, I could go Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm gonna go Heat Wave just to get rid of that thing. Uh, I could go Quaking or Oozing. I could go Oozing again, but that's only super effective. I could Quake that thing. Let's do it. I hope we outspeed it. I can see him Dynamaxing it in Cinderor. Oh baby, this is gonna be good. Who's gonna go first? You're gonna go first with, with a moon blast over on my nine tails. Nine tails, eat that. Go ahead, Venusaur. Outspeed that Incineroar. Outspeed the Incineroar with your double speed. My boy, Max Quakes should be able to take this thing out. It should be able to take him out. It's not stab, but super effective plus one. Oh, so close. So close. Oh man. But we're boosting our special defense. The Incineroar might be able to take me out from here. Not even gonna lie. Let's see what happens. Flare Blitz. Ooh! Incineroar, no! It takes out my Venusaur. Oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. It's cool, though. We did get to show off the Venusaur. Double kill is going to come in from the Ninetales with the Heat Wave, though. Venusaur gets to show off right off the rip out. Oh, Incineroar just takes himself out. Oh, that's game. That is game one in the books. Casual battle, man. Casual battles out here. <laughs> I really do wish we can use him on the rank ladder right now. That would be dope. But nice little start. Nice little start to this video with the casual battles. No ranking, just having fun. Uh, we'll go into the Helios, considering it has solar power. It is pretty fast, and the drought is still rolling. It does have Weather Ball. Weather Ball, I think it's doubled in whatever weather, and it turns to that that typing. So if it's hail, it's going to be an ice-type move. If it's drought, it's going to be a fire-type move. But I believe it is doubled. Who's this final Pokemon? We were able to punk on that, what's it called? That Incineroar. I thought he was going to Dynamax. I really did think he was going to Dynamax. But we did have that Max Quake so close. So close to killing him. Oh my lord, Venusaur, dude. That is hype. I cannot wait to use the Blastoids. Does this guy turn off his console? Like, what's what's taking him so long? Here we go, Rhyperior. Uh, we outspeed that all day. A Solar Beam can just, just take that thing out. Special attacking Solar Beam, that's gonna do mad damage. Considering Rhyperior is, uh, is what's called? Oh, we can double Solar Beam, can't we? Oh, bye-bye, Rhyperior. <laughs> considering Rhyperior is just a defense tank, his special defense is terrible. Even if he Dynamaxes two Solar Beams, I do not see him. I do not even see him close to living it. He doesn't even Dynamax. I think he just calls it quits. Look at my boy. Look at his little face. His little flaps go up. Give the OSU Solar Beam. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Take him out, baby. Take him out. Boop. See you later. Game over. Game one in the books. Venusaur 1-0. Beating a Incineroar team, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice. That guy didn't use his Dynamax, but I feel like we just kind of like outplayed him. And he just didn't even want to use it at the end. But we're going to be hopping into battle number two. So let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. We're just going to get straight into it. Just play through. Just play through right here because we're doing casual battles, not rank. Let's get it. Continue battling. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. But seriously, I do want your guys' teams. I really do want your guys' uh, teams, your rental codes. If you do have the new starters, that is going to be huge for me. I would love to get them, and I would love to use them. So if you guys do have them, send them in. Yo, this Pikachu's got a hat. Why does this Pikachu have a hat? Is that from Pokemon Go? <laughs> That's honestly pretty cool. That is honestly pretty cool. Um, he could be going Charizard into Whimsicott right off the rip. That could be scary. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. who do I go? Who do I lead? I could quash it. I could quash it or go for an ally switch and then quash it. Yo, let's throw him a curveball. Let's throw him a curveball. Yeah, I honestly want to set up the sunny day. Does he have anybody to set up the sunny day? No, he does not. I'm just going to go this just in case... He goes into that Charizard and the 
and the Whimsicott, because then we can kind of just like swap out or ally switch to protect our Venusaur. But I do want to lead the Venusaur for sure, and then I want to bring in the Ninetales potentially just to throw up the Drought later. He has no water Pokemon, so Gastron is a no-go here. Uh, we could go Heliowisk or B -b 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 Charizard. Heliowisk or the Charizard. I mean, I could bring the Charizard in as well to match his Charizard, but I kind of really don't want to. I kind of just want to go Heliowisk here. I mean, Helios doesn't really do much. No, Charizard is the way better call with the speed advantage and the coverage moves on him. So we're going to get double Kanto starters. Where is Blastoids? I need Blastoids. <laughs> but guys, I haven't said this yet. If you guys want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. Tons of fun. We push rank ladder and we do like everything over there. If you guys want to do viewer battles, I do viewer battles over there. It's just tons of fun. So come hang out. Pikachu and the Mimikyu get the lead. Oh my god, we're sunny day and we're going off. We are going off here. <laughs> I don't think the Sableye has any uh any attacking moves. Let's see. It could be look at that hat though. Look at that hat. Um, I mean I could burn. I could totally burn here. But I really don't want to. I'd rather just set up the sunny day. And I kinda want a Dynamax here. I think I'm gonna Dynamax and just take out the Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> uh, um, I mean, I'd rather... I see a Max Ooze taking him out. Not even gonna lie. And we can boost our special attack stats. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Sunny day, Max Ooze. We will be able to outspeed afterwards. Which is chilling. That Pikachu with the hat looks dope. I think he got it from Pokemon Go. If I had to guess, if I had to guess. Unless you could bring Pikachus in here and take him to the shop. And give him hats and stuff now that I didn't know of. That's fine. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> this Pikachu is just chilling with the hat. And it's like tilted sideways. He looks like he's ready to rat, though. Okay. Let's get it. Is he D-Maxing? No way he's D-Maxing. Because your Pokemon should be faster than us. Sunny Day Pops. Give me that heat. Give me the heat. Give me the heat, baby. We're going to grow with our Venusaur. We need water now. <laughs> Let's go. Max Ooze. Yeah, you give him that. Take him out. Milk. Pikachu gone. I knew it one tap Pikachu. He's a lightweight. He is a lightweight. Pikachu is gone. Special attack is raising. The thing about casual battles, like, they're cool and all, but I feel like they're, they're really easy. <laughs> We're just, like, dumping on his Pokemon. He's gonna go for the sword stance, which I don't really mind. I could quash that. Oh, wait, Moke Dynamax. This could be scary. This could be scary. I don't want him to sword stance again, so I really do want to take off the, the disguise. I could ally switch. I could ally switch, and, oh, Charizard is scary. Charizard is scary. I am going to ally switch here. And I am just going to go for another max ooze on the Charizard. And then I can quash it and take it out with the Venusaur. But let's see who does go first. Because this could be a... Uh, this could be very scary to see who goes first. He's going to go for a max flare or a G-Max wildfire. Depending on if he's Dynamax or... He is Dynamax. So he's going to go for a max flare into my boy. He's going to take out my Sableye when we swap out. Which is kind of tough. Kind of tough. But hopefully my Venusaur does outspeed. If not, I can get my Charizard in here and potentially outspeed him. Let's see what happens here. Ally switch. Look at that. Yaw Yee. Is that thing going for another Sword Stance? That thing could potentially set up and do some work. Let's see if we work. Rock out here. Oh, my Venusaur outspeed. So if he hits my Sableye, I can take out his Charizard, which is dope. Look at that. Bye, Charizard. Hopefully, well, not bye, Charizard. He has to hit my uh, Sableye. He has to hit my Sableye here. Let's see what happens. And I got to worry about that Mimikyu. That Mimikyu is rather scary. Player off comes in. Look at that. Yeah, he was going after my Sableye with the play rough. We eat that up. And the Max Flare should go to my Sableye. Show it to me. Yes. Okay, my Venusaur will be able to take out this Charizard because we do outspeed it in the drought, which is huge. And then we come out and take off that, uh, that, what's it called? That Sash on the... Do I go on with my Charizard? Yeah, my Charizard will be, uh, plenty fast. We'll be able to take off, not the Sash, the Disguise on that Mimikyu. But look at this. Outplaying Venusaur is going to be able to take out a Charizard. That is honestly hilarious. We're going to boost our special attack once again. Go plus three with our boy, Venusaur. And we're just going to go for the air slash on the Mimikyu. Potentially try to get a flinch action and take off that disguise. Let's go. How is a Venusaur taking out a Charizard? We just outplay him. That's how. That is how. We outplay him. We go for the ally switch. We read his moves. And we can take him out. Dude, that's like, that's what's awesome about Pokemon. Like, obviously, like, a Charizard, like, one-on-one -on -one would take out a Venusaur. But, like, doubles, you can just outplay and outthink your opponent and be able to take out a Charizard with a Venusaur. That would never actually happen. Like, look at that. Look at that. Get out of here. That ability is huge. Chloroform? Chlorophyll? Whatever, however it's pronounced. It is dope. It is dope. It is the swift swim of fire. 
This is a swift swim of the draft. Bye, Charizard. GG, baby. GG, this game's basically over. Charizard's gonna air slash into him. We know my Venusaur is fastest. And he's plus three. And he's plus three. Like, come on. Plus three special attack. Charizard's plus one. This guy's drops. What's he going for now? What are, what, are, what are you going for, my boy? My Mimikyu? Oh, he went huge. Just what I wanted. Solar power pops. This is game. This is game over. Oh, my lord. Domination with the Kanto starters. Well, two of the Kanto starters. Um, I say we just go into Heat Wave. Heat Wave should be able to take out the Mimikyu. Take off the Sash of the Whimsicott. And then uh, we have to double into the Whimsicott because it's probably Sash, to be honest. Let's do it. Let's go Sledge Bomb. A little bit of Sledge Bomb. Actually, let's go Weather Ball. Let's go Weather Ball. No, this is stab. This is stab. Let's go sludge bomb over on you. Oh no, we only have blast burn. Um. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna blast burn over into the Mimikyu to take it out. Light screen's popping. Pretty smart play by you, but I feel like our plus three is just gonna do some work. And maybe we can get the poison on the Whimsicott if it is Sash. Sludge bomb. Yeah, yeah. Damage. Oh, he's not even Sash. Get out of here. He's not even Sash. See you later, Whimsicott. And this blast burn should say night night to you. As it's plus one and it's 150 base power. Yeah, bye. Out of here. Was that a sweep? Did we lose a Pokemon? Oh, we lost the Sableye. No sweep, but the Venusaur. Dominating. Just dominating out here. Let's go. Let's go. Venusaur and Charizard. Wombo combo. Wombo combo, baby. We can hop into battle number three now and keep going with this team. We're 2-0. We're just, we're just rolling in with this team. Casual battles are tons of fun. Tons of fun. Did he Dynamax? Yeah, he, he Dynamaxed the Charizard. It was the first guy didn't Dynamax, but he Dynamaxed the Charizard, and our Venusaur just ran him. Our Venusaur just ran him. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh! Oh! More new Pokemon! This is tons of fun. How do you pronounce that thing? Is it... Uh, I know it starts with, like, a P. The Lolan Water Starter. I forget what it's called, but I know the first stage. It's Popplio. And then he has a Venusaur as well. He has a Mudzell. A little, ooh, a little crazy combo. I can see him leading, uh... I can totally see him leading a Togekiss. I'm going to bring the Gastron in for that. What is it? Primavera? Primavera? I forget how you pronounce it. I really do. But it's a dope Pokemon. It really is a dope Pokemon. Oh, my God. Casual battles are so much fun with the new Pokemon. I'm going to be bringing Gastron just for that uh, that water or Lolan starter. I'm going to be bringing Ninetales to set the drought early on. Venusaur again because this is what this video is about. We're showing off Venusaur. We're showing some loving. Um, hmm. How can I go from here? I mean, if he leads a Charizard, I can totally just swap out my Venusaur. I'm not too worried about it. I really am not too worried about it. Um, I could bring Heliois. I mean, Heliois does do a little bit of work here. It can take out the Mudsail with a Solar Beam. It has Weather Ball on it, too. But I'm just worried about... I mean, Electric does work. Yeah, let's go Heliois here. And get rolling from there. We got the Ninetales Venusaur in the lead. Hopefully, he leads one of his new starters. Like, don't, don't be that guy and lead your Charizard in casual battles. When everyone's using the new starters. Like, get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. <laughs> just get going. Hopefully they're shiny. So we saw, and we just haven't seen a Blastoise yet. We saw an Incineroar or a Decidueye. We saw an Incineroar. We saw Venusaur. Dude, come on. Come on, man. Like, dude, I just said don't be that guy. <laughs> and he beats that guy. Honestly, we outspeed the Charizard. Do I sacrifice? Do I make a sacrifice here? I really don't. <laughs> Do I make a sacrifice here? I could double into him. Not even gonna lie. I know we outspeed him. Ah, <sighs> hate this game. Hate this game. Hate this game. La 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 la. I could go for a protect. This is scary. This is honestly scary. I'm gonna go for a solar beam over on the Dale. Do I swap him into the Gastro? Hmm. It's like you know the fire moves coming. Hands down. I mean, he has grass. I say we just Dynamax. I say we double into this fool. To be honest, we're going to Shadow Ball over on you. And then we're going to... We're Dynamaxing. Uh, what would be your best bet? Max Strike, probably. Like, Max Ooze is Stab with 90. Actually, that might do more. And, and we'll get a special attack boost. Yeah, let's do Max Ooze over on him. Let's go. Get out of here, Charizard. I know we're going to outspeed because of our ability in the drought. But this is just a tough situation. Like, we go into where Gastron. He's going to go for... A flare, we're gonna eat it up. Then he's gonna go for a max overgrowth if he dynamaxes. So it's just like, eh, it's like a tough situation here. So hopefully, my Venusaur can do some absolute work on him and maybe eat up a shot. We're not gonna be able to eat up, eat up a max flare. So we're going for like a sacrifice. Is he dynamaxing? He is dynamaxing. Ooh, oh, ah! 
<laughs> this is more of just like a tough situation here. Hmm. Man, I don't have protect on him. Oh, G Max, baby. He's G Maxing. I think um we're gonna have to maybe make a sacrifice here. Charizard or Venusaur. <laughs> Let's see. Go ahead, Venusaur. Get us started. Maxus, show me a crit or something. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, Venusaur. No, not even like, any damage here. Wow, we did so much damage to the last Charizard. Never mind. This thing's got to have like different EVs on him. Let's see what happens here. He's still going to be able to take us out. Oh, air streaming on us. I mean, that's fine. We're still going to go down, but... But no flare. Airstream was probably smarter to go to get that speed boost. Yeah, that was honestly smarter. We're probably going to lose this one. We have a terrible matchup on this on our hands here. We have a terrible matchup here. I think I might have picked a little bit wrong. But no, I think maybe we should just let the Sableye. Sableye probably would have been the better call. But this is tough. He's got him and then the horsepower is going to come in here and probably just jump on my nine tails. <laughs> Bye, nine tails. I think we're going to go 2-1 so far with the team. I kind of want to play four battles with the team. Not even going to lie. Not even gonna lie, Solar Power is gonna push up against that thing. We have the Gastrodon and Helios. If my Helios outspeeds the Charizard, we could probably dump on it. We don't have a Dynamax anymore, but that Mudsdale is going to do some dirty work out here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Scald. Did we double the Charizard? I really need this Mudsdale out the way. I seriously think if this connects, it could take him out. The Thunderbolt. Let's see what happens here. But uh, the Charizard's probably the fastest on the field. Maybe my Helios outspeeds it, but he's plus one. And he's going to go into a max player on my Helios. Mm. Come on, Helios. Show, show us how fast you are, buddy. We need this battle. Get it, buddy. Nope, Airstream. Go on my Gastro? Okay. Gastro eats. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. I mean, my Helios is done. He's done for. <laughs> Let's see, T-Ball. Yeet. Yeah. Take him out. Charizard's gone. Helios is coming in clutch. The Mudsdale is going to take out my Helios. That's a fact. That is a fact. This game's like in the dump here. High horse fire. Miss! Ah! <laughs> Come on. All I, I get to crit. All I wanted to see was his two new starters. And he's not even showing them off. Can he throw one out here now? Let's go, Scald. Come on, Scald. Get him out of here. Nope. This thing's a tag. Like, why aren't you playing your new starters, my dude? Come on, man. I'm trying to have some fun out here. It's not ranked battles. It is not ranked. I would understand if it was ranked, but we're sitting here in casual play, and he's not even showing off his starters. He's like, oh, I'm just going to go typical Mudsdale Charizard, the whole meta of the rank. Like, nah, man. Mm, you're annoying me. You're annoying me. He got... And we violate. Like, come on, man. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We're going to play one more battle. We're going to go into a fourth battle for this video. Considering these casual battles are rather on the shorter side, we can just have like like tons of fun with it and just roll out with it. But like, come on! You didn't eat, like. Did you not even bring any of the new starters? Like, come on, dude! That just annoys you. That just annoys you. Like, we're on the casual battle. I'm gonna say it again. We're on the casual ladder right here, and it's just like, no, you're not gonna bring them. I'm going for the win. Get out my face. Get out my face. All right, let's hop into the fourth battle. I'm trying to end on a win. We're two and one. Let's see what happens. We're reversing Cowburger right here. That's a that's a funny name. Well, show me something new. Mm, nothing new, but cool little team here. Um, do I need the boy again? I'm probably leading the Venusaur again. Tons of fun. Uh, I mean, he could go into the Hatterene. We could dump on that one turn one. Um, really depends who he goes into. We have the Ooze. We have a lot of decent advantages here, I guess. Um, I'm going to bring the Gastron for that Gyarados. Because he's probably bringing the Gyarados, seeing how much drought action we have. I'm going to go Venusaur, baby. Right in the lead spot with that expert belt. Who else are we going to go with? I can see him leading the Snarl. Snarl. The Grim Snarl. And the Hatterene. Um, maybe Surf Colossal. But who's going to go? Who's going to throw a Surf? I think I think Corsola or Cursula can throw a Surf. Uh, I'm going to go Ninetales. I'm going to go Ninetales. No need for a Sableye here. It's not too serious here. But no need for the Sableye. Uh, Gastrodon and Helioisk or Charizard? Or the Charizard. I mean, Helios can come up big, but the Charizard has that fire, but fire doesn't really do too much. Same thing with air. I think Helios is the better call here. Because he does have the uh, the thunder, and he has the grass too, so grass can do some work on the T-Tar. Thunder can do some work on the Gyarados, and we can just kind of roll out from there. Let's see who he leads. Let's see who he leads. Come on, baby. I want to I want another win with this team. The second match was our, was our best match, because we plus the read our Venusaur and just ran it. 
and just ran it. That was tons of fun. And we took out Charizard along those lines with it. Let's go. He goes Hatterene into the Snarl Snarl. I'm going to D-Max right off the rip. I'm Dynamax him right off the rip. We're going to go for a Max Boost Booster Special Attack. It's super effective to that Hatterene, I believe. Drought, baby. And then a Heat Wave should come in and pick up the KO on the Hatterene. Let's get it, guys. Bang. Max Uzin. Oh, it's super effective on both. Who do I want? Who do I want? Hatterene. I want you out of here. I want you out of here. And then Heat Wave in the Drought Stab instead of the Shadow Ball. This is a better option for sure. And we can potentially get some burns on him. And kind of just, just go from there, baby. We can just go from there. <laughs> here we go. Venusaur flies. Like, it's surprising how fast he is in the Drought. Like, he's outspeeding Charizards and all that. Like, come on, big dragon Pokemon? And he's like a big, thick boy. <laughs> like, I can just see this boy running full speed on his, like, four feet. Like, his big monster paws. I don't even know what to call him. Like, that's hilarious. Let's go. Venusaur is going to drop it. Ooh, this might be able to one-tap. Stab, super effective. Let's see. <laughs> Bye, Hatterene. <laughs> Venusaur is a beast. An absolute unit. Now we're plus one on special attack. This dude's probably like, he's like, that thing just dumped on me. <laughs> What's Grimstar going for? That's my question. I'm surprised he didn't go for like a status move. I think he was trying to roll Trick Room. Oh my lord. Was that a crit? Or is this guy just like not EB? That's some mean damage. That is some mean damage there. <laughs> I think it's just Drought Stab. It's doing work. Cursula is going to pop out here. I'm done with this thing. I'm sick of these guys. We're dumping on them. Um, but, but Gyarados could get the Dynamax. I think I'm going to swap into the Gastrodon. I think I'm going to swap into the Gastrodon here and just go after the Cursula. Let's go into... We could go Ooze. Overgrowth could be probably a better bet option. We are plus one already. And the Overgrowth is stabbed with 140 base. Um, I'm going to leave the Gyarados. I'm going to go after the Cursula because the Gyarados is probably just going for a Water Stab move. And so we go into the Gastrodon and kind of just waste one of his turns and take out the Cursula. Let's go. Yes, sir! <laughs> this is so much fun. All honesty. For all honesty. Gastron pops. Show me the waterfall. Or he's not Dynamaxing. He could be Dynamaxing. Let's see. Show me the Gyarados. Show me the Gyarados. Go into your Max Geyser, my dude. Or he could be going for a Max Airstream. Like, either way, it's kind of... It's looking a little, a little tough. Looking a little tough. I mean, not, not either way it's looking tough. Just a one way. If he goes for the Airstream, that could potentially take out my Venusaur. Uh oh. Hopefully he's going for the Geyser to take away the Drought and take out my Ninetales. But my Venusaur does go first. Overgrowth going over on the Cursal. How much damage are we doing with the Overgrowth? Could potentially take. Plus one stab. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Venusaur, my boy. Uh, hopefully the Gyarados goes for the Max Geyser. That was my whole plan. And we can potentially see a complete sweep. Like, you haven't touched my Pokemon. No, it goes for the Airstream. No. He eats, though. My Venusaur eats, though. He's tanking that shot. He tanks that shot. I think Venusaur's a defensive tank. We get a little bit of a max overgrowth heal. Oh, I thought he was going to take us out. But we are going to get the sweep here. A little bit of overgrowth over on the Gyarados. Let's go ahead. Cancel your battle. I'll just go for a recover. <laughs> this max overgrowth might not take out. We'll see. We'll see. Stab. 140. Plus one special attack. Big damage. Takes him out. Night, night. Let's go. I'm not even sure if this guy had EVs on his team. I'm not even sure if he had EVs on his team. I can totally check. I mean, I might check if I could see teams. I'm not sure if you could see him in the rank battle. But let's go 3-1 with this team. I'm glad we got to show off the Venusaur and absolutely dominate with him. Is Venusaur OP? I really don't know. That was just casual battles. Obviously, they're a lot easier than the rank ladder. But still, it was tons of fun to show off this Venusaur and kind of stray away from the meta by doing casual battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, if you want to play your guys' rental teams, leave them in the comment section down below. Leave me a list of the Pokemon with it. Tell me whether it's doubles or singles. Anything that EV spread, send that in as well. I'm going to say this again. If your team consists of the new starters, the Blastoids, or the three Alolan starters, send that in. They, that will have a high chance of me playing it because I really do want to show it off on the channel. So try to make a cool, nice team that you can use for ranked, but I'll use it in casual for right now. And maybe I'll use it in ranked later on down the road. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.